Losing your internet connection due to an online DDoS attack is frustrating. You might spend hours or even days just figuring out a solution to get back online. Octo VPN makes it easy to get the DDoS protection you need, ensuring you stay connected even during the most powerful DDoS attacks, featuring military-grade encryption, low latency, unlimited DDoS protection, and 24-7 support. Setup is instant and easy with customizable and simple pricing packages. What are you waiting for? Check out OctoVPN today. Start respecting your privacy and stay online. Yo, what is up everyone? It is Jumbo here and today, as you can see, Xbox has, uh, yeah, you know, made an update, 17.5.26 to 17.5.44, but hey, okay, let's get straight into this fucking video. I'm going to show you guys how to update your RGH from 17.5.26 to 17.5.44, so just follow steps, it's going to be short, easy, and quick, okay, so just follow along. And when you do, you won't fuck up. So follow every single step. Make sure you go over it twice, just to make sure you're doing it correctly. And if you don't, you may break your console. But I'm gonna say I'm not held for responsible if anyone breaks their console while doing this, as I've already done this before. Let's get right into it. Okay, first off, you need to go into your RGH console that you're currently on. This will be perfectly fine if you're on a, a normal console you'd be fine to update but if you have an RGH console like I do um, do not update but do this process so let's go to uh, my games go to XX menu 1.2 so let's go to 360 NAND flasher launch it up so as you can see it says it wants to do that and if you want to flash your NAND or if you want to dump it but what we're doing now is to dump our flash to put it onto XE build. So we have to press X if you want to dump your NAND. That's what it says. So press X. Uh, press start if you want to overwrite this file now. Well, it won't come up with that, but as I already you saw, I did have it. But as you can see, it's dumping just now. And uh, let's go ahead. Okay, exit. Press any button to exit. Okay, now what you need to do now is go over to your head over to your PC and I'll show you what you need to do from there. Okay, now what you need to go and do is go ahead and go to your hard drive, go to the 369 flasher where you just did your dump and it should have a file in there, which it will. And it would be called flash dump dot bin download this to your desktop and once it's done I should let you know okay so now go to open find your desktop and search up this There it is, as you can see, it loaded everything up on my RGH, everything's there. And also, I will need to get my key, which is right here, which my CPU key, I should say. There we go, now my CPU key is in, so what you need to go and do is just go and grab your CPU key, put it into there, and as you can see, all of this has been ticked, everything is fine, RGH2, that's fine, it's, it's whatever your console is, it will do that anyway, and then click check KV to make sure everything is there, but I'm going to blur some stuff just to just because um, but as you can see everything is there make sure the kernel version is 17.5.44 once you've done that and you know it's there working now mm. click on generate hacked image oh right okay I just noticed um, you have to go and download the file which I could see and um, people are talking about it in XP online discord if you get this message which you will Go ahead and download it, which I'll leave a link in the description to download this file, which I will do. Need to go and put this into files. Okay, so hopefully it's in the root folder, which it does say. Now let's go ahead and try it. 
generate hacked image. There we go. Now it's working. So there we go. Uh, click no after that once you've done, once you've generated the new hacked image. So the file should be dumped to your desktop, which should be right here. Update uh, flashed up in 360 nan flasher. Go to there. This is where we pulled ours. Now we just drag this one in. Once you do that, go ahead and load up 360 nan flash. Now I'm going to show you guys on the console now. Once that has loaded, okay. Now we are on the console. Now you have to go and press A to uh, save flash. I would do a save flash just in case if you fuck up you can redo this all again but let's go with that now press start okay your console will start to reboot there we go and your console should turn back on and I'm going to start recording as soon as I get to uh, to be able to start recording. Okay, so your console is booting back up. Um, you might see just now, which it should. There we go. And okay, so now as you can see, the console's back on. Everything is back. The timer's still going. Everything is fine. I turned off, by the way, if you're wondering why it looks normal. It's because I took the stealth server off. Let's go to system, console settings. There we go. System info, and it says 17544. So, do not go online just yet, or to make sure there's an update, go to XB Online Discord or Teapot, because I recommend those two stealth servers the best. Plus, check out, check out my sponsor, OctoVPN will be a link down in the description if you want to buy that it's five but five dollars for one month to be on 31 servers 31 different locations at one time so go ahead and check out my sponsor plus if you want to make sure that if you want to be online now just <coughs> <coughs> just check on the stuff servers and see if their site has been updated for their new dash file and once they do don't drop it. Go ahead and download. Boom. Easy as that. So that's how you update your RGH console to 17.5.44. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please give it a like and share this for, share this video to your friends. And so they know how to update their console safely and all be done. Um, that's it. That's all I need to say now. And leave a comment below if you need help and if you can't do it yourself. Leave a comment below. And if you're like, if you're not sure if you can... Do this stuff right here and if you don't want to uh, fuck up your console please let me know in my comments I'll go ahead and DM you on discord I'll call you up walk you through this step step by step and show you how it's done so yeah peace enjoy the video enjoy your day peace also enjoy modding bye bye